Within Autodesk Tandem, it's critical to work within specific groups of assets and spaces as you contribute and leverage data. In the Filters tab, you can use different parameters to isolate components and change their visual appearance. When models are loaded into Tandem, the Filters panel is populated with a default set of model properties that are consistent across all models, but you can change which properties are used at any time. As you apply additional parameters to your assets and spaces, you can leverage those as well. To filter within your facility, simply click the row of the value you want filtered. Filters are applied sequentially from top to bottom, so as you make selections, the property values below are further constrained by your selection. Here you'll notice that the list of Revit types available are constrained by those that match interior system and the category doors. To better visualize these different values within the viewer, you can apply both color coding and cluster items based on any parameter. You can toggle these on or off by clicking their icons again, or you can also dynamically switch between different parameters as desired. To customize your color coding, clicking the circle on the right side of any line item will bring up the Edit Colors dialog. Make your adjustments and click Save, and your color preferences will be stored for the associated parameter. To clear the filters you have applied, click the revert icon in the upper right corner of the panel. To customize the set of parameters utilized, click the gear icon in the upper right corner of the panel. Here, in the Edit Filters dialog, you can select from any standard parameters, asset parameters you have applied through your facility template, or design parameters which are incorporated with the source models. Using the Search Properties field will search across all of these groups. Clicking the plus icon will add this to your selected parameters, and you can rearrange these by dragging them up or down on the list. If you would like to restore the default parameters, click Reset Default. To apply these changes to the Filters panel, click Update.